Hey guys, if you've ever pulled up to a job only to realize you have severely underbid the job, you seriously sat in the truck and contemplated putting it in reverse, just backing out of the driveway and going on to the next, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So we're gonna start a series here on Fridays where I'm gonna do free tip Fridays, okay? So I'm gonna do a tip at the beginning and a tip at the end. Now, my first tip, very important, um, come in here a little bit closer. If you're switch goes out hear that listen listen you got them bolts right so our pump is wired up to our switch here inside the box but if your switch goes out and you don't have a spare switch how do you uh cut your pump off right how do you remedy that well i've got a real easy way for you all you got to do is just put a kink in the wire okay so take the wire and put a kink in it and that will stop the voltage from flowing now if it's a scenario where you need to keep this off long term you may put a zip tie right here to hold it or some uh, some tape and kink that wire off. It's just like a garden hose, guys. Just just like a garden hose. So all you gotta do is kink that bad boy up, and you've got yourself an impromptu field switch for your system. All right. So let's go over here, and I'm gonna give you an actual tip for the day. For those of you don't that don't know, that was a joke. Come on over here. So we've got our surface cleaner here on a rack, and. We had a customer of ours call or emailed us today from several months ago. He's got a trailer build and he's having some problems with his surface cleaner. First time he's actually used it, he's been using a different surface cleaner. So he hooked up his BE World Away 20 inch today and it's giving him issues. And a lot of times this happens um, when you have a problem, you think the whole thing is just broken, it's useless, throw it away, get another one. Most of the time, that's not the case. Unless it's something like a pressure washer hose that's busted, even those are repairable, but a surface cleaner is a bunch of little things working together to get a job done and if any of those things goes wrong you're going to have a problem it doesn't mean you got to trash the surface cleaner or get a new one it just means we got to figure out what it is and fix it so come right here a little bit closer probably the biggest problem that you can have with a surface cleaner is getting trash inside the thing so right here on the back side we've got a male quick connect now you may have a female quick connect on yours so that you can connect to your ball valve and run the thing be really careful about getting dirt in here. So if you're running along and you get done surface cleaning, you get in the habit of just dropping that thing and letting it hit the ground, a piece of sand is enough to get inside there and clog that surface cleaner up. And once it does, uh, you gotta take the tips off and clean them out. So what I recommend you do is number one, be careful about um, getting debris or anything inside there. And number two, come here, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Look up under here. Here is your spray bar, okay? So inside the spray bar, we've got a tip on each end. And these tips, if they get clogged, they're gonna give you trouble. You're not gonna get a good clean uh, action out of the surface cleaner. Easy fix, you basically are gonna take this tip out, spin it counterclockwise, they just screw right in, clean it out. What I like to do is just hold it up to the light, see if there's any trash in there. Uh, another thing you can do is cut the pressure washer off, allow the garden hose to continue flowing or your water source and look at the spray pattern. Tip the thing over on its side and see if you've got a nice pretty spray pattern coming out of both of these. Whichever one is clogged is gonna have a janky looking spray pattern, so that'll help you identify which one you need to clean out. Normally, when we get a clogged tip, I just go ahead and take both of them off. I'll clean out the one that's clogged, and I take a needle or something real small, and you'll clean that thing out. And what I like to do while the tips are off is go ahead and run water through the bar, okay? So I'll pull the trigger and let the hose just flush the entire length of hose up there out, flush this bar out, and then it's just a matter of reinstalling the tips back in. So they thread right back up in there, but you have to make sure that you line them up, okay? There's a little machined slot in these, and it lets me know that that has to be in line with the bar or it won't be able to propel itself around, okay? So if you put the tip back in and it's kind of cattywampus there, it's a good Alabama word for you, uh, it's not going to propel itself. So make sure that that little indicator slot is lined up with the bar. That is why that is machined into that tip. Keep your surface cleaner tips uh, cleaned out, and they also wear out. So you may have to change these out periodically. Well, actually, you're going to have to change them out periodically. There's no may about it. You're going to have to do that. So uh, keeping these things maintenanced out. And then one final thing for free tip Friday is just to grease them. Um, let's let Emily stand back up. Oh, she's up. Uh, grease fitting right here on top. These are greasable. Not all surface cleaners are greasable. 
We like these because you can grease them. Put a shot of grease in there once a month. It'll make this thing last a lot longer. Another thing, boy, free tip Friday is wild today. So the first one, we're giving out all kinds of tips. This uh, bearing is actually adjustable height-wise up and down. So on the back side right here, if you look, come in here close so they can see, there is a Allen bolt that basically squeezes this collar together right here, and that clamps down on this. So if we need to move the tips up and down to get further away from the concrete or closer, we would loosen this, uh, take a hammer and knock this down very carefully or knock it back up this way, whatever the case may be, and retighten it right there to set your depth. All right, guys, I think that's about it for Free Tip Friday. I'm gonna try to do this every Friday, so I hope y'all get some info out of it. Uh, surface cleaners, they're not maintenance-free items. They actually require a good bit of maintenance, so stay on top of that stuff. Uh, but if you do have problems, the good thing is it's usually a quick, easy fix. We'll check in with y'all next week. Have a great weekend.